Hello, my name is George Ash. This drawing was created using AutoCAD. Actually, this is only one of many drawings that I am uploading to YouTube, and there will be more to come. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with these drawings, and I'm sure that you will too. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. We will erase the existing solid and then redraw it. And so, using the erase command, I will erase the viewport containing the, the model. Now, it's necessary to double click inside the large viewport so as to get into model space. To simplify this work, it's probably advisable to freeze the layer that contains the dimensions. So now, let's make copies of the two views and move them to another location. Now we'll pan and zoom so as to make only the copies visible. And to avoid any confusion later on, we'll transfer these copies to the layer called Solid, which will make them red. One way to accomplish this task is to break the copies into three component parts, extrude them, and then put them back together again. Only an object with a closed polyline can be extruded. So we'll have to convert the perimeters of uh, the top views into polylines using the polyline edit command or PE enter. As you can see, we have two parts in the top view which can be extruded now because I have converted them to polylines. We need to have a middle section, however, and so I'll draw it now. Now we have the segments necessary to construct the solid, and so I can erase the bottom view. The first step will be to extrude the part on the left, including the hole, a distance of 0.28. But before doing that, I'll move the view into the southeast isometric, which is on the view toolbar and then zoom in to get a better view of what we have. Now we'll do the necessary extrusions. To repeat myself, we're going to extrude the uppermost portion as well as the hole, a distance of 0.28. Now we'll subtract the hole using the subtract command found on the solid editing toolbar. We'll use the same procedure for the piece in the middle. The middle piece was extruded along with the hole 0.28 distance and then the hole was subtracted from it. What remains is to extrude the third piece a distance also of 0.28. Now we'll move, we'll use the 3D rotate command found in the modeling toolbar to move the part uh, 90 degrees. And using the union command, which is also found on the solid editing toolbar, we can join those two pieces together and move it a little bit to the left so we can have a better view. 
Now we'll make a copy of the upper part and attach it to the bottom of what we've already built. Using AutoCAD's copy command, finally we'll move the upper portion to the uh, above on the other on the other part, and we'll add all the pieces together with the Union command found on the editing toolbar. All that having been accomplished, we may as well take this opportunity and use the conceptual visual style and by shading the model just to see what it looks like. It looks okay, but I believe it'll have to be ro rotated counterclockwise. And so we'll use the 3D rotating command once again and we will select the red band because we want to move it on that axis and we'll type a dimension of minus 90 because we're going counterclockwise. So I'll pick the rotation ribbon, it turns yellow and type minus 90. and now we'll zoom extents and we'll also thaw the layer which contains the dimensions. Now we'll go to the view toolbar and select the top view. It's a good idea now to pan and zoom so as to show the two-dimensional drawing in, in to better advantage. If we double click outside the viewport, we can create another viewport with two, by using two points. The command we'll use is called mview, M-V-I-E-W. And so we'll select two points to create another viewport. In this second viewport, we'll have to go into the southeast isometric uh, view, and then we'll also have to pan and zoom so as we get a better view of the solid. We are now in the southeast isometric view, and I'm going to zoom. Once again, Now we have to double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space and make sure that both viewports are on the same layer called viewports. The drawing is complete except for the fact that we want to hide the viewport win uh, windows. And so we'll go back to the layers dialog box and freeze the viewport layer. Although the rectangular windows have disappeared, the drawing remains. This is the end of the tutorial. However, another clip will now be added so that you might become aware of other videos which I have produced. For more information regarding the videos uh, listing shown here, please contact me via email. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will want to practice making solid models using drawings from my informative book. Thank you again.